experience, right. I also developed smaller projects to produce on my own, okay. Blue being one of them. Right, and, and so what, From a, I guess from a semi-personal standpoint, uh -huh. psychologically, what was that transition like from going, uh, from being an assistant on Big Set to actually taking the helm yourself? Did you feel the weight? I felt the weight. Very much so. Um, and it was a little odd at first. Um, I've always been and I will continue to always be a person who is willing to be part of every th aspect of it. Sure. Um, check the ego at the door. It's not productive. Um, okay. And especially in independent film and smaller budget projects, right. you, you do what you got to do. Right. And I sometimes um, had to check myself to, right. you know, wait, you are the boss. You you know what I mean? You, sure. are, you do have to... It's a balance. It's a balance. Um, I'm just finished producing a project called Last Call out in Los Angeles, okay. and I was like running wire for the dog. I mean, I was doing like Shannon, calm down. But, um, but, but leading by example. Leading by example. Um, okay. I think that it, it's like such a collaborative process. It takes hard work, and no job is more important than another. Right. And um, you know, if everybody really comes together, and if you really appreciate every different, yeah. you know, every different department's strengths. Then that's when it really can come together, and people can most importantly have fun right. making a movie. Yeah, I, th I think I think this is interesting because, um, and, and surely you know you're not a, an actress, you know, on the screen, right? But here's what's interesting: it takes everything to make a production work. Yes. And um, I think it's just it's 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 fabulous that in such an ego-filled industry, that you could take the approach you as a person could take responsibility and and put the vision before your own personal gratification. Yeah. And I think there's not enough of that in the industry. And um, I think that's something that, that builds for uh, you know longevity, uh, lasting relationship, because our friend Don Wallace yes. is, is the exact same way. Now, uh, for those who, you know, we're gonna inform you now that she was the producer of uh, on, on Blue. And uh, so we're gonna ask her a few questions now about Blue and what was that whole process like? Like, how were you first made aware right. of Blue? Well, actually, I was working on a movie called Four Christmases at New Line, okay. and Brian Minningham, and who is the director of Blue, yes. and Jamie Guest, the other producer, they sure. both worked at New Line, okay. and Ryan was quitting his job, his day job, to go make Blue. Oh. Um, he didn't have it put together yet, he just knew that he was going to go make a movie, and that really inspired me. Um, Wow. I really admire, I think that it takes risks, you have to make risks in this business, nothing's going to just, there's no, there's never the perfect time Excellent. to do something.